Today should be an interesting day because I'm supposed to do a shoot with the car with a guy I know, his name is Chris Flink. He's got a YouTube channel, Flink Films. He does a lot of car videos where he'll go to meets or shows or even just like focus on just one specific car and just get all sorts of different video and collage it all together into like a three or four or five minute video. So we're gonna try to do that with my car today. It's like really, really cold out today. It's like 40 degrees or something like that right now, which it'll be a lot colder in the winter, but for fall, it's compared to what it's been, it's getting kind of cold. So I'm gonna attempt to wash the car real quick because I've only got like an hour before he shows up and hopefully I can get it reasonably clean enough for that. It's not real sunny out, so I shouldn't have to get it too perfect because the sun's what always shows dirt or flaws or anything like that. So I should just be able to give it a quick wash and clean out the interior a little bit, detail the engine bay somewhat, and should be good to go. Chris and I just did a little shot of the engine bay, kind of walking around the shed, a little setup scene. Quick half-assed wax job. Looks somewhat presentable. Now he's gonna set up his gimbal that I'm super jealous of. And we'll start this thing up and get some rollers. I don't know where we're gonna go yet. There's a bridge right down the road. We might try that first. Pull one. Yeah, they're fun. Uh, one of my friends uh, up in Duluth just got one of those cell phone ones. And, oh, uh, sure. I'm like tempted to get one myself. I kind of even thought about it. I mean, my phone sucks, the camera on it, but... Yeah. And my girlfriend has that new iPhone 8 or whatever it is. Oh, yeah. And that thing takes as good of pictures as this does. Yeah, it's kind of like, a camera. Especially if you were just going to do like a regular like vlog style video or... I mean, you could even shoot like cars and stuff. You'd only just have to worry about like zooming and whatever. Yeah. But you just walk around them and get up close. It would work fine for that. same bridge that I took some pictures on the other day and we got a man Chris there getting some video of the car should turn out pretty good So we just finished up the shoot with the car and Chris just left. I don't know if I got enough video or as much as I really wanted to kind of show the process, but I just wanted to give a little behind the scenes kind of a vibe to the shoot that we did. And he probably won't have the video out for a little while, just the editing process and um, he shot in 4K. So going through that and the computer and stuff that he needs to edit that, it might take maybe, I don't know, a month or something like that. But this video should come out shortly after we just did this now, so you guys should see it pretty soon. Otherwise, the cars ran great all day. Um, all I did was change that little connector as far as the ignition system and that misfire that I was having. 
Um, seems to be okay today. I haven't had an issue. I'm just on pump gas right now, so I'm not really sure if the issue is actually fixed based on that because on E85 it was significantly worse, so that would really be the way to test it is to put E85 in it and see how it runs. But regardless of that, the UPS man just showed up and I got all the parts that I need to switch to a coil on plug setup. But anyways, the shoot went really well today. I think we'll have a lot of good footage um, coming out of that. And when that video does come out from Flink Films is the YouTube channel to keep an eye on. I have it linked on my YouTube channel somewhere. I think if you go to my homepage, you'll see something about recommended channels or something like that. Um, you could do that or just search Flink Films. I'll put a little linky thing at the bottom of the screen.